Rage on that beat, going crazy. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about how I trade ETFs and particularly for this example in this video, I want to talk about forward slash NQ and the ETFs that correlate with this future, which are TQQQ and SQQQ. So um, to start off this video, I just want to introduce myself and introduce this channel if you guys are new here. So on this channel, we talk about day trading and swing trading investing as well as current market updates. So if any of that interests you at all, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel down below. And if you guys gain some knowledge from this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. So to start off this video, I just want to show you guys uh, you know what I'm looking at. So the screen that you're looking at right now is actually forward slash NQ, uh, which is the NASDAQ future. So uh, for this example, I want to just break down TQQ and SQQQ. Um, and those are the correlating ETFs that follow this future. So pretty much how it works is when forward slash NQ goes up, which is the NASDAQ future, the correlating ETF TQQ goes up as well. So you guys can see a very similar trend in this. And also the inverse ETF, which is SQQQ, goes down. So when forward slash NQ goes up, SQ goes down, and TQQ goes up, and vice versa. So um, you know it's pretty simple. And if you guys have any questions at all, and you want me to clarify that at all, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I would love to um, clear that up with you. So pretty much what I want to just talk to you guys about is you know, why do I use forward slash NQ when I'm trading these different ETFs? And pretty much simply put is that forward slash NQ has longer data. You know, there's more uh, data to analyze um, and more trends to kind of spot because forward slash NQ, the NASDAQ future, futures in general are open 24 hours a day, five days a week. So usually they open at like around six o'clock on Sunday night before the market opens for the week. Um, and then they're just trading throughout the entire week for 24 hours a day. So you're able to kind of spot these different trends. So if I actually go over to four, or TQQQ, you can see in the pre-market hours that there's very little data that you can actually look at. But if you actually go over to forward slash NQ between the same time, you know, right around between like 4 a.m. to the time the market opens, you can see that there's a lot more data to kind of analyze and it's a lot more clear to look at. So you guys can really spot the different types of trends in the market. So like I said earlier in the video, TQQ follows forward slash NQ. So when forward slash NQ goes up, TQQ goes up and then SQQ goes down. So SQQ does the opposite of what forward slash NQ does. Um, and also really what I wanted to point out with you guys as well and re really why many people trade ETFs is because there's usually more uh, margin for profit in uh, these ETFs. For, so for these ones, for example, these are leveraged ETFs. So, you know, if forward slash NQ goes up a certain percentage, like this move right here, you know, it's only about 0.3% of a move. But if I actually go over to uh, TQQ and you go to that same move, you know, it's closer to a 1% move. So it's actually three times leverage. So if forward slash NQ goes up 1% in price, TQQ, which is the uh, correlating ETF, goes up 3% in price. So, uh, and vice versa, when it goes down, TQQ would go down three times the amount. So it just kind of gives you more volatility and um, it's definitely something that people look for when they're definitely looking to uh, intraday trade in the stock market. So the indicators that I use when I day trade in the stock market, and I just want to go over those real quick for you guys so you guys can just uh, look at those is if I go to studies, edit studies, you can see all of these different indicators that I use. So you guys can pause the screen right now and you guys can actually just copy all of this. Uh, but something that I just wanna point out is for this 50 day SMA line, I usually don't use this when I'm day trading. I usually just have that when I'm looking and analyzing stocks on a longer time frame. Uh, but uh, it's kind of your preference and whatever you guys want. So, but mainly it's uh, the moving average exponential uh, EMA indicator, the VWAP indicators, I have a 180 day SMA indicator, which is this green line here. And also, uh, well, I have two VWAPs looks like. So really it's just these three, the EMA, the VWAP, and the simple moving average. And then I also have um, obviously the RSI, the MACD, and uh, the volume as well. Um, <clears throat> so what do I look for when I am trading inverse ETFs, specifically TQQ and SQQQ? So I wanna see a clear trend and a direction. So if I actually go over to forward slash NQ right now, you can see that overall for the day, it was a pretty clear direction towards 
uh, you know, the later end of the day. You know, it was a kind of an ascending uptrend pattern, making higher highs and higher lows. And in the beginning of the market, before the market actually opened, it was kind of a descending pattern, right? So uh, first, you just want to really analyze the different patterns that you have. Is it a descending pattern? Is it um, an ascending pattern? Is it a horizontal pattern? Is there really no movement at all? So you kind of want to just figure out what that trend is. And you really want to keep it simple. Is it a simple pattern that you are uh, normally, you know, you, you normally know how to trade? So if you guys have been watching my videos lately, you know that I like to trade a horizontal pattern, ascending uptrend pattern, or um, a reversal pattern. So uh, for this one in particular, when you saw this was selling off in the early pre-markets, um, you know, you don't have to short TQQs. You can just go over to the SQQ because when this go down, goes down, SQQ goes up. So you can see early in the pre-market hours, SQQ was making, um, you know, higher highs and higher lows. But then it reached a point where it was a little bit overbought and then it started to change direction. So uh, you can see that exactly here when it started to change direction and started to uh, trend up in the opposite direction. <clears throat> so then I also, I want to make sure that it's undervalued when I buy it. So a great example for this is right when the market opened here, you guys can see right around 930 forward slash NQ sold off heavily, right? It was, it sold off about, you know, a half a percent, which um, would correlate over to TQQs about one and a half percent at the market open. So you can see here that there's a lot of value to be, um, you know, there's a lot of margin for profit to be made on this specific trade. Um, but you guys want to be careful, obviously, because just as much as it can go up, it can continue to go down. But just in general, a general concept that I always look for when I'm looking to intraday trade, especially on these leverage ETFs, I want to make sure that there's uh, enough margin for profit and I'm getting it at a good deal. So uh, you can see that after it's you know, kind of consolidated here for a little bit, it started to run over the next couple of, you know, really over the next hour and it went up around 3.25%. Um, and then finally, you just want to make sure that it makes sense to you. You guys want to make sure that uh, when you're trading these ETFs that you understand that when forward slash NQ goes up, TQQ is going to go up, but SQQ is going to go down. And you kind of want to just understand the general concept of you know, how these trade and how they correlate with each other. So some things that are important to pay attention to when you are tr day trading in the stock market, when you're day trading ETFs, is you want to be able to manage your risk because these things can move fast, right? Because they are three times leveraged ETFs. So, uh, you know, if forward slash NQ goes up 1% or down 1%, whatever you're trading, it can go down, you know, 3x that. So you really want to have a plan and manage your risk as much as possible. So whenever I usually buy um, a stock, I instantly trigger a stop loss so that if it does go to whatever point that I have that stop loss set at, I get filled and I, uh, I get out of the trade and I minimize my risk as much as possible. And that's really the best thing that, that I could do. It works for me. Some people are different, uh, but it just allows me to really stay disciplined with my stop loss uh, that I set. Um, and then the next thing, you want to be able to lock in profits when the time is right. So, um, you know, obviously, if you lock in profits at a price where, uh, you know, you might feel comfortable with, but then it continues to go up later on. You're going to be mad, but I promise you, you're not going to be as mad as if it goes up, you don't lock in profits, and you go from green to red. That's really going to annoy you. It's happened to me before, and I'm sure it's going to happen to you in the future, but definitely just pay attention to that and lock in profits when the time is right, because I promise if you can consistently lock in profits, and, and you might not get all of the, uh, the margin for profit that you might anticipate, if you can consistently do that, it's going to allow you to be a lot more profitable in the future. And only um, I only day trade these ETFs simply because the these ETFs they are decaying ETFs, right? Um, so they're leverage ETFs, which means that they decay over time. So you know you definitely don't want to hold these for a long term swing trade or anything like that. If you do uh, plan to invest in these ETFs, definitely consider just investing them in the day and then trying to. Uh, get out and close all your positions before the market closes for that day. So finally, I just want to leave you on four different things of how you guys can practice before you guys kind of jump in. So first off, just maybe watch how these ETFs move, how they correlate with each other for the next week or two. Just simply just watch these patterns, watch how they move, watch forward slash NQ, you know, does forward slash NQ goes up, 
um, you know, a lot in the morning? Does it sell off usually when the market opens? Kind of try to find out these different patterns and different trends within the market and, and kind of see how much they move on a day-to-day -day basis. Second thing, I want you guys to take notes. So take notes if you guys do place a trade, when you place the trade, why you place that trade at that specific time, why you sold at that specific time, and then go back to those uh, those notes at the end of each week so you guys can kind of determine and kind of learn from your mistakes and or maybe from some things that you did well. So the third thing, you guys can definitely paper trade or on-demand trade. So I have videos on this, and if you guys uh, want some more information on this, just leave a comment in the comment section below, um, and I would love to help you with that. But definitely paper trade, practice paper trading. There's really no risk at all when you do that. Um, and it's completely for free, and you guys can use that on the Thinkorswim platform. And also, you guys can use this on-demand on trading um, up here where you guys can, um, you know, it's pretty much the same thing as paper trading. Uh, you guys can practice how to use these, how to trade these ETFs with really no risk at all because you're using uh, fake money. And then finally, just study, study, study. So this is not something that you're going to learn overnight um, and it's definitely going to be a process but I promise you guys if you guys continue to study continue to stay determined um, you're going to figure out over time and you're going to get more comfortable especially when you're trading these leveraged ETFs so again if you guys have any questions at all leave a comment in the comment section below I hope you guys learned a little bit on this video of how you guys can um, actually use these uh, ETFs uh, to intraday trade and um, also, if you guys did learn something, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you are new here. So with all that being said, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.